Hi guys, it's Kelly. I'm trying to um, do a video here, show you what I got over the weekend and last week. I haven't been in the basement to do any videos or anything, but I got down here the last couple of days and I made um, a little Halloween like folio album um, to put the kids' uh, pictures this year, their trick-or-treat costume pictures and stuff in. And... Um, I thought it came out pretty cute. This is just the front and then the back. And then I got this die that does embossing when you put it through. And it's this, um, what is that called? Sugar skull. And I made it into a pocket and I put a little picture um, thing in there to put a picture on. And then this little guy comes down He's got a magnet in there. And then this opens up. There's a pocket there. There's a, a waterfall here. And then there, these are two po two uh, photo frames there. And then there's a pocket in the middle there with the little ghosty guy there. And then that folds back in like that. And then this side opens up. Oops, I just dropped the photo frame. But this side opens up. I'm not really showing it very well. And then there's another waterfall. Boy, my, I'm not doing a very good job of this. I need to get a new um, thing to hold my camera. It broke. My camera thing broke. Those things don't hold up very good. And then this side opens up as well. So it's just a cute little thing. I put the kids' little pictures from Trick or Treat on, in here. And um, they really liked it when they saw it. So, I hope what you saw you liked. <laughs> it's been crazy. But I've been working on that the last couple of days. And then the whole thing just... Oops, I folded something wrong. Let's see. This guy. Goes in. Nope, that's got to go first. I have to get it right or it won't shut. There it is. And then I just made like a big belly band to put around the rest. This guy's causing a problem there. So he's kind of chunky, but he'll be alright. So that's that. Um... We, what did we do this weekend? We went to uh, Tuesday morning, and then that was earlier in the week, and then I went to um, Hobby Lobby with my granddaughter yesterday. At Tuesday morning, they had, I don't know if you guys ever got one of these, these big um, thing, and then inside it has the individual, um, like, picture size, 4 by 6 picture size cases. I use them for um, my ephemera packs, and I also use them for photographs. And the one that I have for my pictures is, like, stuffed full, but they're, like, almost $50 to buy one now, and I wasn't paying that much. So this one was only $14.99 at Tuesday morning, and I, I grabbed that up. I also saw this bag with the big um, safety pins, and we needed those on Halloween night because Allie's werewolf tail wouldn't stay on so we needed to rig that up at last minute but we finally did um the rest of the things i got at tuesday morning were they have these dye uh cut felt um christmas bulbs which were super cute and then they have a lot of this snow and cocoa stuff and these are just um wood words which i kind of like that look and another thing they've been getting a lot of this is the sweet sugar bell stuff in. And it's mostly for um, making cakes and cookies. And I got a bunch of different um, cookie cutters. And inside, it gives you a template on how to ice them. And it gives you recipes for the icing that stays real smooth like that. And um, that way you can also, you can make different, you can turn it into these two so each cookie cutter set does other things and here's these the flowery ones and then you can do whatever one you want on those ones and then i thought this was just cute 
it cuts out four at a time and you can decorate them any way you want but isn't that crayon cute but I've got the templates in here and I've got them in a like a little like you'd put recipe cards in I got a box like that to keep them all in because I got probably a huge set of these for ten dollars a couple like three or four weeks ago and a bunch of the piping bags and the tips and a whole kit and I was really excited because we love to make cookies and at Christmas time we make um, quite a few so um, the other thing I got was this and it's got snowflakes and uh, sequins in it and some are um, iridescent you can see that in that light it's so pretty and I got a set of these I saw I think it was Jeannie um, I think it was Jeannie's got some of these and I thought they were adorable I'm gonna put that little pink one on my Christmas album I make this year and I think I'm actually gonna break down and do a book like Jeannie's doing right now because I'm loving how hers is coming out I love it um, and then I found these little tiny envelopes they are so cute I think they're just envelopes yep but I thought they were super cute and then I found this for $4.99 and you can put different, um, like, what do they call these? Borders? Inner and outer borders. Um, like a, you could put a, you know, a, a sentiment in there or whatever. I just thought this was real pretty. And that's it from Tuesday morning, guys. Not too much. And then Hobby Lobby I picked up. Me and my sister and my mom went down to Amish area. And we spent the whole day down there. And we were looking at stuff. And she loves these boxes that sit like this on your shelf or on your dresser or something. And they have them like real like painted and distressed. And then they have like some type of knobs on them. Something like that. At the top here. Just sticking out the top. So I went and got this box. Now this something like this would have been a good seventy seventy dollars down there, fifty to seventy dollars decorated and everything. And I'm gonna paint it. She likes dark, so I'm gonna do black and then I'm gonna let that dry and paint over it in this cream color and then I'm gonna sand it in in places so some of the dark shines through and some of the wood comes back through. And then I'm gonna seal all that with and then put crackle um, medium on it so that the paint crackles up and stuff and then when that's all done and dry I'm gonna probably figure out which one of these knobs she likes best I got her a bunch of different ones to pick from and we're gonna put that on the top of her box up here and she'll have that for in her house for these were half off so this was two dollars and fifty cents this one was only a dollar whoops <laughs> I don't break the dumb thing. A dollar fifty. This they gave me for a dollar because it was in clearance, and this was two dollars. So I got a bunch of different ones and different sizes for her to choose from. Also in clearance was this pack of paper, and it is all the same sheet, which I have no clue what I'm going to do with it all. Me and my big ideas, it, but it's real Christmassy, and I thought for a dollar, I'll take it. And then we used our 40% off. Um, she, my da granddaughter did one and I did one. Um, we got another pad of this because I used a lot of it to make an album for my cousin. And I still, I wanted to make me one. And then this pad, this glitter paper is the absolute best. It does not come off. And you can cut, if you only have a little bit, you can use this front copy too or the front page and it's just gorgeous glitter paper really pretty colors <laughs> that was my um <laughs> it was my um base and top plate that you run through your um die cutter it just fell on the floor back there behind us let's see okay um i got some charms these were all half off these ones are like moons and suns and mystical type stuff and then i picked up a set with the two little mermaid tails the only other thing i found in the clearance was this 
big um, punch and it punches out the little hearts so you could use it to make a card and then use all the little hearts as your as like shaker bits or something so it was $3.99 but she took two dollars off of that for some reason so yeah I got it for two bucks um, everything else I got was at least 40% off um, I got this I use these in my hair I pull my hair back and usually braid it almost every single day and then I'll put this in the back and the top of my hair if I'm going out. If I'm just down here, I just braid it back and get it out of my way. And then all of this stuff was 50% off. So I got this pearls. And you can cut that down if you only want like one string of it. I got some of this pretty cream. I used a lot of this on my last project and I really like it. So I got some more. And I found this little tiny purple one, which I thought would work good in the lavender. And then I never saw this one with the hearts. Isn't that gorgeous? I did not need any more ribbon, guys. You know I did not need any more ribbon. <laughs> we won't tell. I got some silver bangles in case we do any Christmassy stuff. Um, oh, I'm sure we will, but I just haven't gotten there yet. My nose is stuffy. I got um, some strands, oh my gosh, they're stuck together, of these little, what are these called? Pearl springs? I don't know what they're called. Anyway, I like to use them and stuff. And then I got these ones. I thought these were really cute. They're clear little balls. Those would be pretty. And then I found these little flat back. And the light shines through them and they look so pretty. And then the only other thing, the stickers were on sale. I only got these ones because they're super cute. And then got the baseballs for my grandson. And then this was only $9.99 and I've been looking at it. Every time I go, I look at this thing. I thought, wouldn't this be super cute to make like a pocket? And then you could stick different like that. It's called a... What is it called? A library? Stitched slots. Library card is what I reminds me of. It reminds me how we used to do our library cards and stuff. So I finally broke down. It was only $10. So I broke down and bought it. And that's it, guys. That's all she wrote. And I appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> Bye.